The all-new season of Futurama is streaming on Hulu. That's great. But I have to warn you, it's completely brilliant. The interplanetary hit is back. The very survival of Earth is at stake. Is everybody okay? Is anybody hurt? Nobody's okay. Everybody's hurt. Watch the all-new season of Futurama. That's the best damn show I ever saw. New episodes Mondays, streaming only on Hulu. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love, at the time, HBO Max Christmas movies. <laughs> I'm Dan, and I despise HBO Max Christmas movies. I'm Alonzo, and I haven't owned a video game system since the Magnavox, and this <laughs> is, is the Deck the Hallmark Podcast. Deck the Hallmark, it's his podcast. Bran, Dan, and friends host his podcast. Hope you like this jolly podcast. Wow. Well, oh, boy. Hello, everybody. It's Brand. It's Dan. It's Alonzo. It's Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. We uh, missed you last week, Dano. And, and then the, the absolute goal of this guy, I, I had to miss that episode. I show up on Monday and I casually go, hey, how was the movie you guys had to watch last week? And he goes, it's the Dan, it's the best one. <laughs> we've ever done in our monday series didn't even like have the courtesy to lie to me and be like it was good he said that's my opinion the week you were gone is the best one we've ever done on any monday i don't know if i'd go that far but it's it's definitely top upper tier outside you know. of 25 weeks of christmas is all i'm saying well, uh, yeah. Was it sure. better than those, uh, the Your Christmas or Mine? I liked it better than Your Christmas or Mine. Was it better than that Christmas Subway movie in England? The one I, I like? Co- comparable. Comparable. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's right. up there with those. Well, I'm sorry yeah. I missed out, guys. Well, but you I'm can back still this week. Watch it then. Hopefully, I didn't didn't curse us this week. No, no. I, I, I hope not as well. By uh, the way, before we dig into nostalgia for the late 80s, early 90s, I gave, you, I gave you guys a homework assignment that I don't think either of you has fulfilled oh, yet, no. which is to watch the... Okay, when we talked about last Christmas on this program a few weeks ago, correct? you guys both copped to the fact that you had never heard George Michael's Freedom 90 before, which blew my mind. And then I later thought, wait, that means they've never seen the video. And the video was a very big deal at the time and i sent it to you have either of you watched it brain you go first so i think what's important <laughs> to remember here is that we had a festival there's a lot going on stuff came, okay. and it's not and from i took a lack time of- to watch it brand did not and i will withhold my entire critique of it until brand watches it <laughs> all right <laughs> Well, that's awfully because convenient. You don't have to. Just, you don't have to. <laughs> no, no, I'll no. plug my no, ears. No, no. It's the least no, I, I can do. No, I would love for you it's to share your I thoughts just, on it. It's the least it. I can do. Look, not to spoil, this video was revolutionary, A, because George Michael does not appear in it, and B, because in his stead, he hired the very, very hottest supermodels of the moment. We're talking uh, uh, Naomi and Christy and Linda and Cindy Crawford and Tatiana and it was it was it was the zeitgeist of 1990. Wow. So it's there you just a, you know it's a thing. All right. We'll put it on the list. Maybe we can carve out 3 minutes somewhere. I think maybe you can find us. the time. Yeah. Alonzo, if you We're up against if it. if you could be uh or or how about I do this? If you could replace Dan and I with uh supermodels for the week. Uh pick, pick two. <laughs> Who would it be? <laughs> Because I don't want to replace you. You're, you're the bread and butter here. That's right. Dan and I are interchangeable. Who cares? I would go old school. I'd want like Lauren Hutton and Marisa Berenson. I, I don't think know. That, they, would, they would be great for uh, the show. As long as I'm Lauren Hutton, that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. You're, that's, a, you're more of a Berenson. Uh, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, read a book. Berenson <laughs> Bears. Read a book. Uh, see a model. Um, Alonzo, have you ever given thought to if you uh, were ever going to be in a movie who you'd want to play with you? In the movie it, of your life? It's, it's come up occasionally. Um, I, I have. I used to say Jack Black, but I'm kind of annoyed with him right now. So, Oh, wow. I'd love to get into uh, that. We don't have oh, to get into it's, it on it's this It's a show. whole long story. You okay. can Google it. Um, huh. Who would play me now? Gosh. Um... I don't know. Come back to me. Have you been giving this thought, Rand? Jimmy Stewart. 
Or if he's not available, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. If you, yeah. Oh, stop it! <laughs> stop it! Stop it! We're having fun. We're having fun. We're here. having fun. We're but having honestly, fun not a bad comp. I think. Yeah. For me. For you. Yeah. Jim Carrey. I think maybe. I'm a little. Zach Galifianakis is your comp. That's fair. Zach Galifianakis or, is your comp. Or Jason Mansukas. Ooh, yeah. Jason Mansukas would be great. I'll take both of those. Yeah. yeah. I'll take both of those. That's right. What about you, Dan? Dan? I got no idea. I got nothing. You've never thought about it? I literally have never thought about it. Not once. I don't I don't know. I've always said Ralph Nader's your guy. Ralph Nader. <laughs> Ralph Nader. Yeah. 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 It no. thing flies off the page. Let us yeah. know in the comments. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> smash that subscribe smash button. Smash that subscribe button, and by everybody. that subscribe button, we mean Philo. Philo.tv slash DTH. DTH. You can watch right. this show yeah. and so much. Dana, I gotta, I, gotta, I want to tease it for the people. Oh, the next it. episode of the Philo Deep Dive is a doozy. It's a doozy. That's true. That's true. So, That's a lot of fun. How about that? A lot of fun. Deep Dive Doozy. Deep Dive Doozy. Well, those are special episodes. Special you got to look for it's the like doozy. the big dog episode of the week here at Deck the Hallmark. Which oh, my gosh. Done which in is this, this episode, episode is as a matter of the big dog episode fact. of the week. Yeah, I love Alonzo getting in on it. It's fantastic. Alonzo giving what I would describe as 40%. Woof. Let's play that. Woof. I was thinking Let's half-hearted. You're, you're cutting me down to 40. Right. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's play that uh, back at full speed, please. <laughs> Woof. Woof. <laughs> We're talking 8-Bit Christmas. Uh, came out. Back when Max was still HBO Max. The good old days. The good old days. For the rebranding. Whole new app. Can we talk about this real quick? Do we have to? <laughs> because you can change. You can rebrand. You can rebrand without having people download a new app. It wasn't necessary. People do it all the time. But for some reason, HBO Max said we can't do it. We have to do a whole, had, new, we have to do a whole new Max uh, app. Do you yeah. know why, Alonzo? I have a guess. But do you know? Uh, I, I'm sure it's because David Zaslav is the worst. That's sort of my fallback <laughs> well, answer to everything. Yeah, but Batgirl, what, what the, the, the Batgirl took up so much memory. They need <laughs> exactly. To yeah, Coyote <laughs> Diak me. We couldn't possibly HBO, save everybody's wish list. We have to start all over again. HBO Max to, I, with, with Batgirl, and they couldn't do it. Can I tell with. you what I think? It, well, I'm just as a pure guess. I think... Cinemax and HBO becoming a were they did they become a company or were no, they, they were they were Cinemax okay. was always the sort of like you know yes. embarrassing relative of HBO but they to, I think it was a brand I've been there it was like an HBO how do we slowly dissolve Cinemax we start with H Cinemax on demand and HBO and then we do HBO Max and then we just do Max I, that that makes sense to me at least in my head yeah, but then about, you're my, dissolving my, HBO that's my true. point that's is true. my point is you could have done all of that without having Changing people download a new app that was yes uh, absolutely now here's the big question when you're gonna Hallmark say something movies now go ahead Aaron yes I thought I had read somewhere that because the content was so different between the two apps it was easier for them to just build a new app um, with the correct content interesting because they lost a lot of their own like, H- huh. like so, some HBO content isn't on there like that's what I read was that I'll take that answer true easy. yeah they had to take on all that discovery crap you know Thank all you, those like I love that home, answer home shows and stuff but but remember how bad that app was at the beginning where they were not listing producers and directors and writers they were just lumping everybody as like cast the the, the crew you know it was, it was it was a disaster they really did it man when hallmark movies now becomes hallmark plus are we gonna have to download a new app or are we just gonna wake up I, one morning one can only hope logo? there's a new app I, I think <laughs> that there will be a new app oh, but i think that it'll just update oh. i think it'll just update but we'll find out we'll, see. we'll find it's out a new world anything can happen h hb yes uh, max ran so hallmark plus can run wait <laughs> If you Walk. say so. That coming. This is poke all over again, which the people listening aren't going to get it because it was pre-show, but I done goofed. I couldn't think of a single dance. Not a one. 8-Bit Christmas. Uh, Max dance so that Hallmark Plus could cha-cha. Could, could polka. <laughs> uh, November 24th, 2021 is when this movie aired or dropped, streamed. Anyone else something like this? Are you okay. <laughs> When it polked. Right. I polked hard. It's 2021. We're in Chicago. Here's G- what I found. Did What'd you find, Siri? <laughs> Tell me what you found, What's Siri. That? that was crazy. Um, it's 2021 in Chicago, and Jake Doyle is walking down the street with his daughter, and she is going on and on about how badly she wants. No needs a phone when they get to jake's mom's house they realize that no one is there yet and so 
Uh, they're walking around, and he says, let me show you my old Nintendo. And she's like, what's a Nintendo? So they sit down, and he tells her the story about how he finally got his hands on a Nintendo, the gift that he really wanted back when he was her age. Cut back to the late 80s, and Jake is 11 years old, and he shows up at Timmy Keene's house, the richest kid in the school and the one who had a Nintendo. Every day, kids would crowd Timmy's house, chanting Nintendo, begging for their chance to go inside and play the Nintendo. But Timmy would only pick 10 kids to play with him in the basement. And one day, he picks Jake to come down. And uh, it's, it's great until it's not, because Jake doesn't actually get to play. He just has to watch Timmy play. So now he is more committed than ever to get his own Nintendo so he can finally play it for himself. First idea is a simple one. I'm going to ask my parents if I can get a Nintendo for Christmas. Easy, simple. We've all done it. He tricks his mom into saying yes, hoping that he can use that to convince his dad, which he does. And then they finally start talking about it, and uh, video games are killing kids' brains. So they collectively say, no, no, no. Kids should be playing outdoors. Jake is sad, heads to Timmy's house, which was especially hyped that day due to the addition of the Power Glove. Timmy gets uh, so, so uh, much stuff because he's making people get, like give him stuff for a chance to enter into the house to see the power glove. Um, and Jake has to actually sneak his way into it because all he brought was a sausage, and he did not get picked for that sausage. So he follows a dog into uh, the basement, and then that same dog ends up getting crushed by the TV because Timmy gets mad that the power glove sucks. Uh, but dreams die harder than dogs do. And when he hears that the first prize of a scout fundraiser uh, for selling the most Christmas wreaths was a Nintendo, Jake and his friends all join the scouts and then compete to win that system. It is brutal out there, though. Jake's sister, Lizzie, has her own dream toy, the Cabbage Patch Kids doll. And in exchange for tips for selling Reese, because she's really good at that, at, at tips, uh, Jake agrees to drop hints um, on, on her behalf about how great a present would be uh, that is the Cabbage Patch doll. Uh, turns out, though, Cabbage Patch Kids, they're sold out. So things go from bad to worse when a Nintendo distracts Jake at the mall and he loses his sister and his retainer. Jake, um, and so Jake is forced now to accompany his dad to a back alley to get the doll for his sister. And he's like, well, why can't I have a Nintendo and all this good stuff? It is time for the wreath sale results. And Jake wins. But... There's no Nintendo because the troop leaders decided that video games are melting kids' minds because word is spread about the smush dog. (laughs) The anti-Nintendo movement is spreading, and any chance Jake had at getting one is all but dead. It is six days until Christmas, and Jake and his gang are at a roller rink for a birthday party. They get some baseball cards. They're opening up, and as luck would have it, they find the banned Billy Ripken card. Yeah, they do. It's an error card, yeah, and that is. card is worth $95. So they now have a new plan. Sell some baseball cards, including the Billy Ripken one, put all their money together, and buy their own Nintendo when they are in Chicago on a field trip. A lot can go wrong, but they have it all planned out complete with, you know, throwing up to stop the bus, buy them all, because sometimes you got to take one for the team. But the plan immediately runs into a problem before they can even start because a bully takes his money. But Jake finally snaps and tells the bully off and gets his money back. The plan is on. Nine minutes of throw up time gives him nine minutes to get in, buy the Nintendo, and get out. But. Just as he's about to get inside the store, he spots his mom outside protesting Nintendo. He gets his friends to page them over the intercom so uh, to distract them long enough for him to get in and get out. He runs in, secures the package. It's all looking good. But he runs outside. He slips on ice, which launches the Nintendo into the road and gets run over by a bus. After getting... Um, uh, after getting advice from the underground Cabbage Patch dealer, Jake uh, wakes up on Christmas morning and tries his best to have a good attitude. But it's hard until he sees a box in the corner that looks just like a Red Rider. I'm sorry, a Nintendo box. 
He rips open the box, and it's a light bright. It's not a Nintendo at all. It is uh, Christmas night, and Jake's dad tells him before they leave that he has to go out and pick the poop up uh, in the backyard. And that is when his dad surprises him with his real Christmas gift, an amazing tree fort. Jake is blown away. Cut back to present day, and uh, Jake and his daughter are in the tree fort, and she's like, well, was the Nintendo in here waiting for you? And he's like, no, I worked uh, to get that Nintendo myself a couple years later, but this tree fort was the best gift I ever got. The family sits down for dinner, and uh, we find out that Jake's dad has since passed away, and Jake and his daughter agree to carry the carry on the tradition of the fort and go out and work on the fort some more in the morning. And that, my friends, was a big Christmas. We did it. We did do it. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come back. We're gonna break this movie down here on take Jack the, the Hallmark. Hallmark. Net Credit is here to say yes. Because you're more than a credit score. Apply in minutes and get a decision as soon as the same day. Loans offered by NetCredit or lending partner banks and serviced by NetCredit. Application subject to review and approval. Learn more at netcredit.com slash partners. NetCredit. Credit to the people. The all-new season of Futurama is streaming on Hulu. That's great, but I have to warn you, it's completely brilliant. The interplanetary hit is back. The very survival of Earth is at stake. Is everybody okay? Is anybody hurt? Nobody's okay. Everybody's hurt. Watch the all-new season of Futurama. That's the best damn show I ever saw. New episodes Mondays, streaming only on Hulu. Welcome back, everybody. We're talking about 8-Bit Christmas from 2021. Every Monday, we're doing some uh, Christmas movies that somehow, uh, whether it came out uh, after Alonzo's initial book or maybe just didn't get to it, we're reviewing some of those movies for just fun, for funsies, yeah. no other particular reason. And this week, we're back in 2021, not too far for April Christmas. Uh, we're going to start with a hot take. We're going to share our thoughts on this movie. We're not going to hold back. And I'm going to kick it to Alonzo. Alonzo, what did you think of 8-Bit Christmas then and now? So crazily, I think this makes an interesting pairing with Violent Night. Now, huh. obviously, they're very different. When Violent Night's very R-rated, and you know, not this is a much more family-friendly film. But both films are operating, knowing that audiences know the movies that they are likely to be compared to. Yeah, and they have to exist in a way that. They resist that comparison or they are so good that you don't mind the comparison or that they're maybe even better in certain ways. So this is a movie predicated on the notion that everybody watching it has seen a Christmas story, has seen a movie told in flashbacks about a kid and that one Christmas where he really wanted the one specific thing and all the hurdles involved in getting it. And even with that... I think this movie works really well. Like, it's really charming. It's really funny. And yes, it has a lot of the DNA of a Christmas story in it in terms of the family dynamic and the, the sort of, like, you know, the the voiceover narration and the kind of, like, kid obsession and, and you know, the sort of, you know, kind of adult humor about the passage of time, whatever. But even going in, knowing all of that stuff, I think this is a movie you can absolutely enjoy on its own uh, a merits. And, and I think really it's probably a better call out to a Christmas story movie than a Christmas story <laughs> Christmas yeah. was, let alone all of those ridiculous, like sort of sequels of a Christmas <laughs> story that we've gotten over the years. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I, I'm, you know, I, I'm a fan. I liked it then and, uh, watching it again a couple years later, I think it holds up. Uh, I, adore this movie it has become a part of my uh yearly watch over the past uh, few years i've watched it each year since 2021 and i'll watch it this holiday season even though i watched it in uh in late july because i'm sorry august yeah it's august, of course, august yeah you um, so uh, i love this movie and you're right there obviously it is hitting a lot of uh christmas story beats i think the thing that uh works the most for me is if you remember guys when we did christmas story christmas christmas story christmas was so much about uh trying to 
make us believe that the dad from A Christmas Story wasn't as bad as we remember that's right. him being. That's right. That's right. <laughs> like, yes. like the guy, yes. the guy in the Christmas story has one redeeming moment in the movie where he's like, I had one when I was a kid gets the thing. And it's yeah. like, okay. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot yeah. throughout the movie where there's, that's kind of the worst, but he's said the one thing but par for the course for a 1950s. Sure. 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 Father. But yeah, in, 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 a, in a Christmas story, 40s, uh, in a Christmas yeah. story, Christmas is like, that was the best. He was like, yeah. that's like, that's not the, really the guy yeah, that we saw. I don't think so. I think the <laughs> thing that worked for me in this, one is they do do that but the dad in this movie is so darn like likable yeah. throughout this movie he is uh just great and so when you get to the end of this movie and the, kind of the the revelation of uh, him passing away the the fo- uh the tree fort all of that and him not getting the nintendo but him having to work for it and that the tree fort was the best gift he ever got all of that makes this movie uh so great because it's it's really telling this story um that you think is about one thing because of the the christmas story and by the end of it the christmas story i love it it does not make me cry Eight bit Christmas has made me cry every time I've watched it at the end of this movie, and so um, I uh, this movie crushes. It gives me all the feels, and there's also just some absolutely hilarious moments in this movie that make me laugh out loud, and uh, I love it. And uh, I'm going to kick it over to Dan, who had not seen the movie before. I Ooh. I had never seen this movie. I was not prepared for this movie. Uh, this movie destroyed me in all the best ways. I. This is my favorite one we've ever done on a Monday, and I'm not. That is 100% accurate. Uh, as someone that was born in 1983, spent the majority of his childhood begging for a Nintendo and never got one, all of this worked for me. So the Billy Ripken error card had the card, like went to the card shop every, like literally, I mean, the, like the minutia of this movie was made for me. The thing about a Christmas story is, is I like that movie because I was supposed to like it. I didn't watch it until I was 12. I literally had never seen it until I was 12 years old. And I remember everyone being like, you've never seen a Christmas story. And then I remember just feeling like, I'm just not going to be like, this movie isn't bad, but it doesn't really resonate with me at all. It's fine. It's got a few funny moments, but it, it never really was my thing. This movie crushes, and it crushes for a number of reasons. One is, is it plays on your expectations of a Christmas story, which is what Alonzo said. And two, Steve Zahn is the dad, and June Di- Diane Raphael is the mom, are amazing in this movie. And then the idea... I think for me, the whole movie, I'm like, this is so enjoyable. I'm really like vibing with the fact this is very nostalgic for me. I have a sea of memories. My, my, all the feels segment could be 12 or 13 stories. Um, my wait, what's are like two. And then all of a sudden the end of this movie, I am certain based upon this movie being almost beat for beat Christmas story, but better in every way, in my opinion, um, that under the Christmas tree, there's going to be a full, what's that over there in the corner? And then they don't do that. And then instead of doing that, they just pull all the stops out and it may be manipulative for other people. It may be, I'm sure a 10 or 11 year old now may not have resonated with it. I don't know. I'm interested to show it to my kids. I was a mess. I was a mess. I thought about my parents and the times they like, I never got a Nintendo, but they surprised me with gifts just like this dad surprised his kids with gifts. I thought about my kids and I did buy them a video game system and surprising them. I have it on video. It's one of my favorite prized possessions. This whole movie was made for someone my age from start to finish just everything I could possibly want in a Christmas movie. Can't wait to watch it again. We'll watch it again at Christmas time. Adored this movie. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. And Dan and I have talked about a tree fort. We got a good tree. We have we talked a, about a tree fort. A a tree. Yeah. <laughs> Less excited about the tree fort, but still great. On the no property less. one. Yeah. yeah it, it, well, it come, it's the tree's annoying. It's his tree. It's annoying to me, but you know, I get it. <laughs> But what if? Yeah. But what if <laughs> tree me out? What if tree fort? We could jump right in the pool from the tree fort. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, that's nice the that's the, that. the the placement of it right. makes it tricky. Yeah. It does uh, shallow in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to all the feels. We're talking about when this movie gives us his feels. Alonzo. Um. Uh, yeah. So this is. I mean, I am you know a little bit older than you all. What? So this is not entirely my frame of reference nostalgia wise. But uh, there was a. I, I laughed a lot in this movie. I love early on when they're establishing how terrible Timmy is. <laughs> 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 when, 
when he knocks the Connect Four board oh. off of his grandmother's hospital. It's tray. one of the best moments. Oh my goodness, <laughs> crushed it. It makes me laugh now. I just, I, I love that. Um, I love the talking Nintendo in the Marshall Fields that oh. seduces him, Jake. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God, that yeah, we've all been there. Um, the there are some some really great set pieces that I think are are elaborate and wonderful. The whole retainer gag, yeah. oh, where they're both like running after it, it's being kicked and mopped, and he's got to put it in his mouth yeah. anyway, like that. That's hilarious. The whole like caper of then going back to the mall to get the 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 Nintendo on the school trip and all the different things that have to happen the phone call and the spaghettios and whatever um so yeah I, I just I think there's there's a lot there and and yeah I think that it really does stick the ending because yeah again you're 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 thinking it's going to go Christmas story and he's going to get the thing but it's like no the whole point of telling the story is to tell the daughter I'm not giving you a phone but you know yeah uh, there are other there are other things that are more important you know so uh, yeah no it's 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 a delight um I, obviously the tree fort at the end of this movie is amazing <sighs> it's an amazing on. moment um if for no other reason the lights on it masterful touch mm. uh great vibes i also just the the small moment and uh when when the parents are watching him climb up and she goes let me get the camcorder uh, yes. and he goes let this moment just live man at, like as a parent i I, f- I felt that hard and there's so many times where I, I look back and I'm like, I just wish I lived in this moment. And that was a really sweet moment. To be not sweet, though, for a second. Throw up bits don't always work for They me. don't. <laughs> really tough to do correctly. But this that, one. Daggum it if this throw up scene did not, like, amazing yeah. moment. Yeah. Because. Perfect. So they're, le- they're leading up to it. They're talking about how this kid, if <laughs> SpaghettiOs, we got nine minutes. Nine minutes worth of And it's of like, okay, home. what are we going to do? Oh. And they could have done, they could have done it off camera. They could have done a lot of things. They went as hard as they possibly could with. <laughs> this throw up and it was hilarious it hit every time that it happened and it went uh, full monty python it was <laughs> awesome i loved it and uh, that is now the uh number that's what i want out of every throw up scene wow it's a big ask i know hmm. dana um yeah the movie one and memory one my my movie one is i the 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 treehouse reveal was great and this the scene where they're talking in the treehouse is wonderful and i'm like on, like I'm like sitting there going, man, this is this is it right here. This is it. But then when they sit down at dinner and then they start showing you all the JJs around the house, come on, I mean, c- <laughs> come on. I, I'm only human here. Like uh, that was the, you that was the right year. Now? And to like say like that was that was the year that me and dad found our thing. Yeah. And then it starts. Oh my gosh, dude! It's and it's so very good. similar to in one of Alonzo's favorite movies about time. Richard Curtis is about time, uh, where where uh, uh, Do- Domhnall Gleeson. Uh, have you seen Donal? Donal Gleeson. Yes. Where he? It's the same, almost the same narration beat where he says he wasn't just my hero; he was my dad. Yeah. Like that line. I mean, come on, forget it. And then personally like all of this listen i my neighbors had a nintendo it was just life to go over there just to watch somebody play zelda like that was it man <laughs> like i remember when they got the power glove i remember when they got the nintendo power pad which was before the glove and you played olympic track and field on it uh, like ryan harold i, I, I see you T- um, timmy keen making his sister go out and Press play on the cassette for the music to play, so he can do a big power power glove yeah. reveal. Yeah, is is oh, yeah. cinema? Oh, it's yeah. cinema. Yeah. Uh, lest we forget, there was an entire movie designed to sell the power glove to people. Yes, a little, little movie called The Wizard with Fred That's Savage. Right. Fred it, Savage, baby. It was like this was all of this like collected baseball cards, one in a Nintendo. I also loved, you know, they don't get him the Nintendo right away. He gets it in a couple years. My parents got me a Game Boy. My parents were terrible. Like, video games were absolutely not in our house. We didn't have cable, no video games. And then 
they they bought into a lot of the stuff that i mean i think if you play too much video games it's probably true but at the time nintendo like this your brain will turn to mush thing they bought they bought into that and they didn't want it in the house and it was probably too expensive we couldn't afford it for all those reasons i didn't get one they did buy me a game boy when i was older which i like i asked for just like off the cuff and was like there's no way they're buying this we've never had a video game system in the house and then i got it on christmas that was a fun memory i distinctly remember being 10 and us opening all the gifts and being like this was great and my parents were like go take the trash out and we walked it through my dad's study and they had made the the three-in-one tournament table which was like pool ping pong air hockey one table and that was like that moment and like it was just everything we didn't have a camcorder growing up but like i still remember that moment and i also like it just all of that stuff really worked for me. My dad wasn't didn't have the midwestern, you know. Steve Zahn has an edge to him in this yeah, movie. He gets yeah. real mad in traffic, but you can tell he loves his kids. My dad didn't have that. My dad was just like he was just amazing. He just unbelievable. He didn't have that. Like I never heard him yell in traffic not once. Like I probably yelled more in traffic this week than my dad yelled his whole life. <laughs> Can confirm. And, and so like all of that, like all of that stuff. Like really, really worked for me. But the whole movie, I had so many memories. I'm not even sure. I'm literally like every scene. I'm like, I remember when this. I like, it was great. It was just, it's just my thing. Well, we've been sappy. We've had fun. Right. Let's take a break. We'll come back. We'll get to the wait. What and the uh, what the what what's on max? Take it to the max. Yeah, take the homework. The all-new season of Futurama is streaming on Hulu. That's great. But I have to warn you, it's completely brilliant. The interplanetary hit is back. The very survival of Earth is at stake. Is everybody okay? Is anybody hurt? Nobody's okay. Everybody's hurt. Watch the all-new season of Futurama. That's the best damn show I ever saw. New episodes Mondays, streaming only on Hulu. Mm -hmm. hi everybody welcome back we're talking 8-bit christmas here on this this monday first month first monday of august yeah happy Mm. birthday month birthday month happy birthday month two days my birthday the the big four one wow that's right Mm. old Uh, all right cool yes cool. so old so old thanks alonzo for uh all jumping in nintendo on that. memories yeah uh <laughs> let's uh let's get to the wait what we're talking about when the swimming meters go wait what alonzo yeah not a ton and they're all pretty minor um uh wreath sales would have started earlier way Cause earlier because you, <laughs> you've got to deliver those bad boys and so i don't think you're going to be like you're going to start selling them like what eight days before christmas or whatever this movie is but you know this is a thing they always do what are you going to do um i i don't know if it's the camera angles or what but there are times where he appears to be wearing boots that are not the purple boots yeah like they make a big deal about he's got the girls boots and stuff and then, um, but there are certain, like, like the first time he's in the mall in Chicago, it looks like he's not wearing them. And so maybe that's just a trick of the light or something, but like they, they there seems to be some, some boot continuity issue there. Um, and then the other one is when he, the second time he's in the mall and he's trying to get into Marshall Fields and the two moms are out there pr- uh, uh, protesting video games. It's a mall yeah. and it's Marshall Field. Yeah. There's more than one entry. Like you that's could right. have just taken the Netscalator up to another level and gone in that and way. And there's no way that's the only store in the mall that sells Nintendo, right? Uh, also that probably, yes. No for, way. Like I just, that was yeah. that was a big one for me. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. I, I don't have a ton. I did write down buses are crazy. And I just kind of think about this in general whenever I see a bus that just the fact that we're still doing it is is crazy to me. The buses are crazy. Buses are crazy. Like if you think about it, that he there just is goes in and orders a beer. Can you believe this? No, I no, I understand. This is this is <laughs> I about I more just, throw up. I wanted more throw up. Is what I wanted. <laughs> You're with me on this one, though. The fact buses that there are, are twenty plus kids on a bus with one. The adult only adult is, is a bus with driver. A CDL. That's uh, right. Yeah, the that's teacher. that's what. That's uh, that's that's the qualification. You can yeah. drive a bus. You yeah. can handle kids. And I think I think about it almost every time I see a bus. That buses are crazy. And so I just wanted to say it here on the on the record. You didn't have much. Buses <laughs> are crazy. They, look, they have the teacher who gets puked on, and she, by the way, did did we recognize her? She's a she's a Hallmark vet. No, she pops up in, in quite a few movies. Yeah, she had a really like, you funny know, she, line. I should have never stopped dancing in Vegas or yeah. something like that. It was really <laughs> yes. funny. Speaking of her, one of mine is. If a kid threw up on me like that, 
You're I'm out. I'm out. You would follow I, suit. That's kids, the re- yeah. that's the that's like the rest of my day is just trying to get that out of of like that's crazy. Yeah. That was a crazy yeah. amount of throw. Uh, it's a, it's- it's a chain reaction. Kudos yeah. to her. Kudos to her for uh, for sticking with it because that I would have been thrown up. I'm, I'm in the same boat. Weirdly enough, like of the things that bother, like my wife works in pediatrics and she'll come home and I can always tell when she has the hospital scrubs on that some some kid has thrown up on her and it's just like whatever. It's a normal day. It just happens. It happens from time to time and I'm like. No, <laughs> no, it does not. That's the, like the rest of my day is just thinking about that moment. <laughs> and, and but here, the th- it's not just throw like that. That is ju- that's, that's a project. That's a yeah. So, yeah. That's a, oh a yeah, gun. yeah, yeah. There, you f- you f- you feel it hit. Yeah. Th- this I just want to throw out this actress, Catherine Greenwood. She was the mom in Xmas, which okay. we did yep. earlier this year. Uh, she was in Unlocking Christmas, uh, Steve and, Long. which is Steve Long, Steve Long yes. and Taylor Cole, and. Right? Yeah, that's the one. And something else, but I, I've lost it now. Anyway, so yeah, she's just, she's one of those faces that we've come to know from this, you know, avenue of cinema that we're covering. Uh, the only real wait what that I have uh, is that for a family that is as frugal as they are, it's a really nice camcorder they had in 1988. Yeah. It is, that's, mm, uh, they yeah. maybe no. spent all the money on that kid. Like the yeah. fact that you said that your parents, you didn't guys have didn't have There's a camcorder. no world. We had, we had friends, that we had one friend, set of friends that had one and it was this huge deal. Yeah. And this like the like, shoulder strap with it was the, the, big, the, yeah, the tape one. in the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it was yeah. just a, it was it was handheld. It wasn't a shoulder strap, but it was like this ginormous thing. So much mm. about this movie is talking about how frugal the parents are, yeah. and then they bust yeah. out this big camcorder. And here's the thing: is if they did have that camcorder, they would bust that thing out for literally any everything. reason, not oh, just Christmas. Everything. The people that had camcorders, they wanted you to know that they you had would see yeah. Steve Zahn's face. No. <laughs> you would just see this all movie, all the time, all yeah. the time. Yeah, maybe it was a gift from the rich uncle who lives in Tokyo. Yes, that's maybe. a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Thank you. I did Thank love you. that bit. <laughs> rich, rich uncle in Tokyo. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was perfect. Uh, Dan, um, both of mine are Nintendo nerd stuff, but I think they're both valid. This movie does a great job of not giving you a specific year because I'm pretty sure the Power Glove may have not come out till the 1990s, um, and so they just have it all happen. They, they do say 88 on the video that we see later of okay. Christmas. Okay, because but, but beyond that, they do keep. But it he big. does keep going like 85, 86. Late '80s, and so that's yeah. a perfect thing. Which is also the deal with the Christmas story. Like you can't right. quite nail which yeah. year in the '40s it was. And and so I don't I'm, I don't mind that. I'm not not there. But the two that I have were at in Timmy's house. They take great liberty with the length of the controller cords. <laughs> um, <laughs> as someone that played Nintendo, you had no choice but to get retinal burned. You were not. <laughs> You didn't get to sit back on your couch and roll into some punch out. Like you were there, man. Like you were there. Squatting in front of the screen. These cords are like the hundred foot HDMI ones we got in the in the storage room in here. Like it's like I get it. You had to film a movie, but for a movie that's very intent on being, do you remember the Nintendo? That was a big one for me. I was yeah. like having Timmy not like make out with the TV screen. Yeah, was a missed almost, opportunity. Yeah. I just like I, I didn't I, that, and it's just one scene because early he's playing duck hunt you can't really see yeah. it but when he's when the the TV falls on the dog that scene the cords are like they are on the floor with slack <laughs> like they have they're they're twelve foot tw- twenty foot cords they're Wait, crazy I, I have I have a duck hunt question because I again yeah. uh, this was after me uh, when he's standing that close to the screen and shooting at them is that like cheating because he's yes. so close or is that yeah where sure to, is it is cheating okay. if you got that close you almost assuredly were going to hit it every time. Time. Dog gotcha. was going to be like, "Good job there at the end." You, you were going to, yeah. There was a <laughs> like, <laughs> you, every living room had like an agreed upon, you know, we, distance. You know, distance. You got exactly to right. tape, tape, right. tape on the That's floor. Right. Tape on the floor. Behind the tape. <laughs> That's right. Get behind the tape. Um, and it was weird. He said, "Winter." St- now that I'm thinking, it was weird. He said, "Winter stays" when it's easily a two person game. Like winter stays, and he's like, "Look at me, I win." But there's a duck hunt's a two person game. You can take turns and still have winter stays. For, n- n- here or there. Timmy's a b hole. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's both my, players. My one big one that was against character was Neil Patrick Harris is telling the story, and he sees what it amounts to be the encyclopedia, um, uh, like th- like set under this sheet and he's telling this story and he goes it looked way bigger than the nes systems i had seen so saying nes system is like saying atm machine (laughs) nintendo Uh, entertainment system system if someone says that i don't care if you say that i don't care but if your entire childhood 
was Nintendo, you would only say NES. That's all. You would never say NES system. I don't think I ever heard that growing up, unless it was from a parent. Like I, I did. Like I got you the th- NES system. That's right, exactly. And so a Nintendo. That's the one time where it's like that didn't that rang false to me. The one time on movie. That's all I got. Hmm. We haven't talked about Neil Patrick Harris is great in this movie. He's unbelievable. Great, He's terrific. Great uh, with the scenes with his daughter, but also like as a the narrator is scenes, so good. Yeah, the, the, mm-hmm. where he doesn't over like he doesn't ever try to manipulate you. It's really really good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Great work. And, and, and he he sets up the ice patch thing. Oh brilliant. yeah, uh, he does. early on they fire yeah. that gun or they show you that gun or whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> you get it. There's a gun. <laughs> The gun is ice. Uh, let's get to ice let's get to save the max. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Save <laughs> I the max. I think someone said in the thing uh, where we wonder what could have been. Maybe happy to give some clarity to any questions that we still have. This movie is an interesting one to do because we see back in time and we see now. Uh, but I guess there's some what the homeworks may be in between. Uh, Alonzo, what are you still wondering about? Well, I think the giant unanswered question here, because the entire story has been leading up to the fact that, like, he didn't get the Nintendo for Christmas, but his dad did build him the tree fort, and how that really, you know, was so great, and, and a thing that he really appreciated, and he, this is basically his way of telling the daughter, I'm not buying you a phone for Christmas. What is he getting her for Christmas? Yeah, or when did she get a phone? Either of those would have been fun. I, I want, I need to find out because he now has, if you're going to lay this entire story on her over the course of a day, you better deliver something oh, yeah. that is tree fort comparable or yeah. better yep. because you got to, this is your, your good dad way of, well, I didn't get you the phone, but I got you. It's a better story to what? tell after Christmas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Instead of like building up suspense there. He the only is, thing to- you can do he there, is jacking up expectations. Like nobody's the only business. thing you can do there is actually get her a phone. I think that's when you become <laughs> dad of the century. Is what so in there. a similar uh, vein, they when they walk out, he sees the tree fort. And he's like, this is crazy. And then mom just goes, your dad was up all night putting that together, which... No way. Impressive. Yeah, for freezing cold. <laughs> for, well, the, the whole movie is about how the dad never finishes I, the project, I know, by the I, way. I know, which is great. My my thing is, is was had he done any of it beforehand? <laughs> like... Could, or what was he secretly <laughs> doing stuff before There's I, a, there there is a scene earlier on where he tells when he when he makes the kid pick up the dog poop in the backyard he goes don't worry about the ones behind the shed uh, okay. which is maybe a setup of like don't look behind the shed there's a work in progress i don't want yeah, you i so gave him good. the benefit of the that's doubt good. there because that i remembered that line and just thinking he would have seen a freaking tree house wouldn't he <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah your dad was up all night working on it uh is yeah all right great yeah. he, was, your he was making a tree house in a re- selling schedule you know and it's not just the treehouse it's a treehouse that's decorated immaculately on the outside mm-hmm. with those lights that's so that's a that's a whole you know hour like a, or two with a, with yeah. a, with oh, like he's a portico or, or something like yeah. it's got like a sunroof yeah. it's a whole thing it's Amazing. way longer than I, I was talking about just yeah. the lights yeah i think the lights yeah are, probably like, yeah yeah um so i weirdly have a for a movie that i loved i have a note uh my my, my save the max is i would have preferred a different a scene differently in the end of this movie i think it's wonderful that he doesn't get the nintendo i think the way they just write it off by going i worked hard i i I, you know i worked hard and saved money and got it later completely deflates that balloon like it's the gifts that don't matter however i i loved this didn't get the gifts so much and he got something that was so much better i love that so much that what i wanted to see was this um the cool thing about grandparents it, like w- when you watch your grandparents and then you watch your parents become grandparents is they literally become different people. Like my, my parents like were amazing, but like I never watched any T te- like I'm literally watch movies for a living now probably is an overcorrection for the fact that I didn't watch anything growing up. I went to the movie theaters maybe a handful of times before I was 10 years old. And then my kids stay at my parents' house <laughs> And, and it's like, well, we have morning TV time and then we have after, like, it's a completely different animal and it's, it's beautiful because grandparents get to do the things they wanted to say yes to with their kids, but didn't want the responsibility or the repercussions from them. So I would have loved her to go, well, when'd you get the Nintendo? And you, you could say, he could say, well, and you have one more flashback scene and it's Neil Patrick Harris his wife that is pregnant with his daughter and the dad hands him a gift and it's the Nintendo. (laughs) That's all I ever wanted. He gets in the gift, a little wink or something like there's your Nintendo. And it would have just been like, 
perfect 10 of 10 stick to landing. That's what I want. Another play, or, I don't know how you do it because I think the fact that his dad has passed, it makes the ending so powerful. But the grandparents giving her giving her a phone would have also would been have really been great. funny. That would have been great too. Yeah. Yeah, but also the, the the when when they're when he sees the treehouse, they are on their way to the grandparents' house. There could have just been an extra scene where they get there and the grandparents give it to him. Yeah, that's, that's right. True. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. But uh, by yeah. the way, we should mention Winslow Fegley, who plays young Jake, really, really good in this. He is his brother and Oaks Fegley, also an actor. Those kids are uh, amazingly Winslow talented. Winslow was in uh, La La Crocodile, and um, and Oaks uh, was in uh, 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 Peace Dragon. Yeah, wow. Oh, right. wow. But uh, yeah. he was also in um, another one. Uh, Naughty Nine, which we have done Naughty here on, Nine. Uh, on yeah. the show. Then, yes, that's true. Yeah. Good uh, stuff. He only does, uh, he only does Christmas movies. He only does Christmas movies. Lyle. <laughs> Lyle, Lyle, yeah, Lyle could true. be a Christmas movie. It could be. It's <laughs> close enough. Uh, we did everybody. Congratulations. Next week, uh, we're going uh, back a little bit further than 2021. We're going back to 1995 for While You Were Sleeping. Oh, boy. <laughs> I saw it in the theater. The Dollar Theater at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's going to come as any surprise. I've never seen it. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. I was on Christmas Aficionado's uh, uh, show a couple weeks ago talking about Christmas adjacent films, and I would say uh, while you were sleeping is Christmas adjacent. But mm-hmm. I'm uh, I'm a big I'm I'm not allowed to say what I I'm excited to talk about. <laughs> I'm excited for Lonzo to watch it. I wish we could watch it together. Unbelievable. Come down here. I'm Come excited. To, I, this is a fun time where I get to watch a Christmas movie with you for the first time. That happens never. Uh, so this is exciting for me as someone that's seen that movie multiple times. Um, I, I, this will be fun. We'll hold hands the whole time. It'll be great. Uh, we'll be back then with that, and we'll be back tomorrow, you and I. Until then, we're the first to wish you a Merry, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Christmas. The Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to bramblejamplus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi, but here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day. The all new season of Futurama is streaming on Hulu. That's great. But I have to warn you, it's completely brilliant. The interplanetary hit is back. The very survival of Earth is at stake. Is everybody okay? Is anybody hurt? Nobody's okay. Everybody's hurt. Watch the all-new season of Futurama. That's the best damn show I ever saw. New episodes Mondays, streaming only on Hulu. The all-new season of Futurama is streaming on Hulu. That's great. But I have to warn you, it's completely brilliant. The interplanetary hit is back. The very survival of Earth is at stake. Is everybody okay? Is anybody hurt? Nobody's okay. Everybody's hurt. Watch the all-new season of Futurama. That's the best damn show I ever saw. New episodes Mondays, streaming only on Hulu. The all-new season of Futurama is streaming on Hulu. That's great. But I have to warn you, it's completely brilliant. The interplanetary hit is back. The very survival of Earth is at stake. Is everybody okay? Is anybody hurt? Nobody's okay. Everybody's hurt. Watch the all-new season of Futurama. That's the best damn show I ever saw. New episodes Mondays, streaming only on Hulu.